Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Um, we're going to have a, um, another quick look at the timeless tags. Now I know I showed, um, I don't know whether it was both of these cards um, on a previous video. Um, this is the dies that we made the tags with. They're called timeless tags and this one cuts out the, uh, the piece that I've done in copper on there. Um, then you've got a plain one, which I've put underneath and on top, and then these little ones cut out the little um, the little bits and pieces so you can have um, leaves, stars or butterflies. I'll show you this one closely. So you can see some here, I've got the cut out butterflies and you can see the colour below. Then I've also cut out some, used the, the, the dies to cut out some individual butterflies. You can inlay them, all sorts of things. So very, very pretty for um, tags, but also to go on the front of cards. But the one I wasn't quite sure about was this one here. Um, but I discovered what it is we are meant to do with this. And I loved it so much, I thought I would just give you a quick little show and tell on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and um, cut out. I'm going to cut the flower one on black and I'm going to cut a layer of white as well and pop that through my big shot. Bringing in the, the brush just for speed, although this one is very easy to get the bits out. I'm just going to rub over there and there's our little piece that is cut out. And our back piece. My favourite way of gluing on these intricate dies, I'm just going to move the camera a bit closer, is to put some glue um, onto my um, silicon sheet, pick, some, pick it up with a stamping sponge and then go all over that intricate one. So there's a nice thin layer of glue all over the back and then I'm going to lay that over the top, give it a press down on the silicon and there we go. So that looks quite pretty as it is, but to make it pop, we just need some markers. So I'm going to take the crushed curry and fill in the centre. You can already see where we're going with this, can't you now? And then I'm going to take the soft sky and colour in the edges. And you could, of course, do this with your watercolour pencils um, or even inks and an aqua painter. And then I'm going to take the um, old olive and colour in the leaves down at the bottom and the stem. And now you can see why this is such a wow project and so such a wow die. Isn't that beautiful? I um, mean, you can see I've scribbled a bit to do that quickly to show you. But it does mean that every single one of these tags is an absolute winner. So these are called Timeless Tags. They're from the Spring Summer Catalogue and I would highly recommend them. Thanks for visiting. Elizabeth's Craft Room today.